it can be downright frustrating. You have been working hard to make better diet choices. You've increased your level of exercise and you have successfully lost some weight. But then it all comes to a screeching halt or worse, you may even gain back a few pounds. What is going on? Bonnie London and after nearly 30 years of working to inspire individuals as a personal trainer and dietitian, it is my goal to provide you with the latest tricks to achieve your personal weight or health goals. Now in today's video I am going to explain to you why weight loss stalls may happen to you and what steps you can take today to do about it. Unfortunately our bodies have not evolved to support weight loss. In fact, in the 200,000 years that it is estimated that we have existed on the planet, it has only been within the past 100 years, maybe, that we have enjoyed food security. Simply put, our biology is a mismatch for the modern environment. So even though we can easily identify, you know, maybe I'm carrying a little too much uh, fat around that I don't need, your body will fight to hold on to those extra stores and preparation for a time of starvation. As you lower your calorie intake in an effort to lose weight, your body will adapt to that lower calorie consumption and will slow your metabolism in response. In addition, you may also require less calories as you lose weight, particularly if you lose lean body mass. Luckily, we can outsmart your body's protective defenses and achieve weight loss goals. Here are some of my top strategies to help push you through a weight loss stall. Number one, believe it or not, is eat more. I know this might sound completely crazy and counterintuitive, but scheduling either a weekly, what I like to call a feasting day, I would never use the word cheating because we don't really want to consider it being a diet. But the idea is maybe picking a day of the week, like Saturday could work out well for many of us, that you purposely, you know, in, eat a little bit more all day. And this, this strategic increase of calories actually can intervene the signal that there has been a decrease in resources that you've been watching yourself all week. And it lets your metabolism know Everything is okay here. We're gonna keep it going. We want to prevent your body's ability to adapt. And a video that I had done a couple weeks ago on vacation actually speaks to this as well, because this also could be an opportunity when you're on vacation to just take a break and think of it as actually an advantage as we're kind of resetting uh, your metabolism to know that everything is okay here. Certainly, we still want to think about calories in the course of a week, but we don't need to look at every single day as having a calorie deficit. What you really want to look at kind of is playing with is like this entire week. Uh, number two on the list would be certainly exercise. The, the diet aspect of trying to lose weight is certainly going to help you lose fat. But if your goal is to maintain your weight loss, which would definitely be including maintaining your lean body mass, then you are going to need to engage in some physical uh, activity. Because really, the more muscle you have, the more that you're gonna be burning 24 seven. Number three, 
be aware of quote unquote diet foods. Unfortunately, there are tons of these products that have cropped up with labels such as sugar-free, keto, paleo, vegan, but they don't always have your best interest in mind. Always, always turn the package over and read exactly what are the ingredients. Be aware of the serving size because there really isn't a regulation on what's considered a reasonable size. I mean, who drinks half a can of soda or half a bag of chips? Not me. <laughs> Number four on the list. Eat your protein. I speak about this frequently as it is the most satiating of all of the macronutrients. And your body is wired to actually seek out a certain amount of these essential amino acids. And it will signal to your brain, you know what, I've had enough, we're good with this meal. Uh, and, and believe it or not, about 30% of the calories contained in protein are needed just to metabolize it. Managing stress. Chronic stress or stress that is experienced over a long period of time can impact hormones such as insulin and cortisol that increase circulating glucose and fat storage. So what that means is stress can not only control where your calories are stored, but it also controls where those calories come from. So also, in addition to that, under stress, you're much more likely to grab uh, pizza, chips, or ice cream in an effort to quickly make yourself uh, feel better. Finally, mastering sleep. As sleep is the only time that we can really build muscle, uh, lose fat, and also regulate the hormones that affect our appetite, as well as fat storage. Finally, do not let a weight loss derail you from reaching your goal. Take a moment to appreciate where you have come so far and evaluate what diet lifestyle modifications that you have yet to consider. If you have found this video helpful, please like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified of each new video. If you would like to discuss your personal situation, there is a link in the description to below to book a free call. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.